Tommy, I think that can be described as a pretty massive win for Aldershot tonight, what, this evening. Well, it's a win. It's a win. I think there's a lot bandied about before the game because of where we both are, you know, our points tally in the games we've played. It, we'll be next to neck, next, you know, shoulder to shoulder. So, but it's still three points in my opinion. Um, and, you know, I'm not being dismissive here, but we wanted to win the game. We've won the game. We put it behind us because very quickly we've got another team in really good form coming to the EVB on Tuesday night. So, yeah, I'm delighted. We showed all sorts of different ingredients today to, to get over the line. Um, but I thought we thoroughly deserved to win. It's one of those, isn't it? Maybe a bit cliche, but you look at maybe 1992 when, when this club re reformed. Obviously, we were reforming in the, in the depths of non-league. Mm -hmm. Oldham were in the Premier League. Mm -hmm. Here we are beating them. I think it's, it's quite massive for the club, really, isn't it? Massive. I played in a game at Boundary Park in 92-93 where they beat us 4-3 on the last game of the season and for them to stay in the Premier League and mm -hmm. send Crystal Palace down. So I'm very well aware of the history of Oldham Athletic. It's a fantastic football club. Um, unbelievable support. And to bring 400 down this yeah. far, you know, they deserve a pat on the back. But I think... Anybody who's watched the game will probably say we did deserve to win. Um, just, by the way, it was you know we, we probably made more chances than them to score goals, but it was difficult making them chances. They don't, they don't give you much breathing space. They're very competitive, and the manager's a serial promotion guy. You know he knows what he's doing. So, like I said, I'm absolutely thrilled with with the performance today. Well, I wasn't last year, yeah. uh, last week, as you <laughs> well know. But I'm also pleased that we got the performance to go with the, the, the result. Yeah, I was just about to ask about that. Obviously, last week you said you weren't very happy with the performance, but we got the win. This week we've got the win, and I think you, it'd be hard to not be happy with that performance today. It was quite yeah. dominant, wasn't it? Well, yeah, I mean, it, listen, the ingredients we needed to show today sometimes have been levelled at us we haven't got, but I just felt to a man uh, from the goalkeeper through, through to the front two, whoever that front two was at any stage of the game, just ran the, themselves into the ground. They put their bodies in the way, they put their heads in the way, and they just would not let them, you know, Get a, get a foothold in the game, and, and I'm delighted with that. Delighted for Jordy, I think that shows you, you know, a competent, solid goalkeeper, you know, behind a team that are protecting him, and that's what I want. It's not all up to the goalkeeper because the ball goes in the goal. Like I say, you know, you make a mistake at the other end of the pitch, it's oh, unlucky. You make one at that end, it's oh, what well, you know, it's the goalie, and and he's been he's been excellent for us this season, and I'm I'm really pleased. Although the chairman won't be, but he, the clean sheet there for the for the group is is fantastic. And talking about our goals, it's great to see James Daly get his yeah. first shots goal. And, and also, I mean, were you maybe a bit worried when Tyler Frost decided to not go for the corner at that stage of the game? But obviously it came out well, didn't I'd, it? I'd actually said to Tyler about five minutes before that, you get an opportunity, mate, his legs have gone in this stage of the game. You've got more legs than him. So I hope he's listened to that. Um, <laughs> but but I was delighted for him. He had a really another good good game on the, on the in the position he was in. But James Daly, look, I've been watching James score goals since he was 16 year old and he always gets between the posts when the ball's delivered correctly. And it was. Uh, and it was a great finish. So, like I said, him and Lauren have been an absolute handful these last few games. Um, and their energy and their willingness to work and, and do the, the nitty gritty bits, you know, the bits that forwards don't really like facing their own goal and holding up when you've got, you know, a hairy backsided centre half trying to kill you. And they have to put up with that. And uh, and like I said, I want to give a mention to both the two strikers who went on to replace them two in, in Hadi and Kwame. Huge contributions, the pair of them, their energy, their physicality, and the young lad who's gone and made his debut has, has made everybody aware that we aren't weakened by our bench. In fact, for me, we strengthen sometimes when we come off the bench. It was talk about Dylan for a second there. Maybe a bit of a longer one than he when he thought he was going to get. Unfortunately, with Dayan coming off, well, I mean, I know we can't talk about how well that is because he's only just gone off, hasn't he? Mm -hmm. But it didn't look great, did it? Yeah, I mean, whenever there's a sharp pain in your in your hamstring, uh, it's never a good sign. So we're not, you know, we're not hopeful, but we're sorry, we're not uh, we're not optimistic, but we are hopeful because he's played a real good part for us, you know, Dejan. But we know his, his history before coming to the club has been very, very sparse in terms of game time. So hence why I've managed his minutes as much yeah. as I can. But you know, when you go a week between games, you assume everybody's fine and well, and he's just a little bit behind. With the quality of the football he's got, it is, is not in line with the amount of football that he's played. He's way ahead in ability-wise, but not that much experience. So listen, we'll support him and, and hope, hope it's not a major thing. But like I said, it was great to have both uh, Dylan and Theo on the bench. We knew Stuart's the same. Stuart hasn't played all the minutes this season. Yeah. So now we've got three for the two positions with Glover, Frost, who can also fill in in their area. So no, we're in a good place mentally, I think. We're in a good place physically. Um, we just got to eat the right things, drink the right things and be back at it on Tuesday night here at the EBB.